<clears throat> Hello guys, Gabe Khan here, IUR190G, smartphone patent war, I did it upside down for you, there's all the information, unfortunately this is the last time I get to use that sign, I missed the trash can, I can't even pretend like I made it, um, so I just want to say I had a lot of fun in this class, I want to thank Professor Lavion for, um, for you know, throwing an incredible class using incredible tools, and this that's what this episode of Gabe's Patent Talks is about. It's about um, the method we learned in this, this semester, uh, Twitter, uh, YouTube, those er various areas of, uh, of media. And I think, personally, because this, this is the perfect kind of class for um, alternative learning strategies, for example, the YouTube idea, because the class is two units, um, it's really about learning, and Professor Lavian did a really good job of, of stressing the fact that you're in this class, it's, it's not a requirement for any class, it's, it's really you're in this class if you want to learn about the subject. And because he gave very broad instructions, which some people hated because they were like, well, you know, what about this and what about that? And they had questions about what the actual thing was, but I kind of got the tone was kind of do whatever you want, really learn. Um, exactly what you want to get out of the class and get it and go out there and get it and that's what I did and I think that um, I, I, I loved it. Uh, I've had talks with uh, grad students in the chemistry department about you know their intellectual property rights when they sign it over to, to the university. He had no idea that it included it could include stuff that doesn't have anything to do with chemistry because uh, that's his area of field. It could be anything sometimes. Uh, he didn't look over his contract carefully enough. Um, but it's that kind of thing. I felt myself being able to bring up weird, random, sometimes seemingly useless pieces of information about patents, intellectual property, and the smartphone more that I would not have been able to do without this class. So for the two units that, uh, the two units of work that I spent, and to be perfectly honest, these YouTube videos are very fun for me. I get to be in front of a camera, talk to you guys. Um, I think that I could not have asked for a better um, use of, of alternative learning strategy than what we got in this class. I think it was great. Um, the YouTube clip thing, it made me work, but it made me do my own research, but I was able to do research on what I wanted, um, which was amazing. Uh, the Twitter things was kind of, it was kind of cool too, to be able to, you know, uh, keep up with the news about it and, and be pushed to, to look into what's going on in the present because of how active, um, because of how active the smartphone patent war is right now. Uh, YouTube comments, I would say, a little less helpful, um, just because, uh, again, loosely defined strat uh, loosely defined instructions matched with, it's probably very hard for you to look through all of the comments we've done through all of the videos, so I felt like it's kind of a waste of time on your part to look at all of those comments. Um, but then again, the YouTube videos that I created, um, helped me with my public speaking, helped me develop ide my own ideas about, uh, the patent war theories about what could be going on, I came up, AJ, especially AJ and I when we were together, were coming up with theories that I'm sure the top executives at these, you know, uh, smartphone companies were still talking about, you know, the idea that why Microsoft is doing the things they do, why, you know, Apple is just suing the crap out of everybody with their $100 million uh, little cash pool. Um, and it was really cool to do. I felt like, um, I felt like I was part of the smartphone patent war a little bit. I thought it was really cool. Uh, all right, thanks, guys. Um, we're about a minute over time, so I got to go, but it's been a pleasure. Thanks.